Mm-hmm. Well, we have something else we're going to play with. We all like to be warm at night. Comes with a box of goodies. Comes with a pretty nice instruction book. Shows some pictures. Doesn't clearly show all the parts. Shows some different models. All kinds of good stuff here. But, uh, that kind of, very, pretty basic. Uh, monitors there, piping. Tells you a little bit where stuff goes. So, gonna do a little bit of reading, but, but we're gonna do, we're gonna do, I done some reading, done some checking, got all the goodies. Well, sponsoring today's video is staying warm with Weaver. Yes, they're tough tools and half yeah, price, they're gonna, it's gonna keep me warm. We're gonna see how she all works, so. This way we're going to lay her down. We're going to try and put it together. So because I'm not taking my tent, this would be ideal sitting on a couple blocks of wood outside the tent and the hot air inside, but it comes out that way. So I need this to go through. Somewhere is about there. I can turn that. That means this, this. I'm going to mount. I'm going to make a little stand that's gonna going to mount it right there. Otherwise I have to mount it here. You know, my monitor is on this side. And I don't want to mount that next. I need to mount it this way. So we'll we'll make it work. We'll make a little stand, and we'll uh, yeah. For right now, for this little hunting trip, I think we're gonna just uh, do some drilling, and we're gonna we're gonna make it work. We're gonna try it. Oh, I screwed up. Eh? Splintered it a little bit. Pushed too hard. But see if that'll fit. Oh, Lee. No way, but this has to go on the inside, so we'll show you that in just a second. We are constructing today because these machines, these machines, if you look in your diagrams, they are not meant to be mounted outside. They're meant to be mounted inside, so the electrics stay dry. So I am building something here that's going to go on so that it's uh, safe. And I'll be putting a plate on right there, a metal plate. Um, that pipe gets pretty hot going in, so I'll have a metal plate in there instead of just wood, and uh, we'll get this constructed. That's recording. Well, he's making noise. He's making heat. Gonna stay warm tonight.
Well, <clears throat> seeing I, I had the I had the diesel heater hooked up with the camper, but that's not really the way they're designed to be used. I guess we need another battery. Okay, I had one charged. explain here I'm just uh, building it up I have a hole through the wall in the corner here where I'm gonna run the exhaust out through the wall and I'm just uh, had a little stand there because I had a generator there before but I'm just putting these to build this up and then uh, They have a plate of steel because the exhaust pipe is close, it goes underneath, so you want something that's going to protect it, airspace, whatever, and uh, going to run out. So we're just protecting it where the exhaust pipe's going to go. Just make sure it don't get too hot. So we'll get it sort of turned around, set up, and we'll show you how we're setting it up. We got a lot of things in the way. So we have our fresh air tube coming out this end. I won't be using it in the shop a lot, so I'm going to be just leaving this in the shop, not uh, sticking outside. But uh, we will get the exhaust pipe outside. Well, exhaust pipe, you got to make sure that you have the right ones. There's a fuel line coming down here. Your fresh air vent comes off right beside that fuel line. Your exhaust pipe goes on the other one. So, um, this will be just sliding up on there and we'll clamp it up nice and tight so we'll show you that in a minute we're going to just slide it up here and that pipe should slide right out through that hole oh, nice little platform so that'll line up Through the wall, that fresh air right there. We just set the 12-volt battery up, and uh, do this with. One hand, make sure you have red on red. Beaver has a lot of different products, um, tough tools, hardware, um, you know, garden stuff, shop stuff. They have a lot of stuff, not just diesel heaters, but they were kind enough to send me one to do a review and, uh, it tells you in the pamphlet don't hook them up the way I hooked it up for my camper it takes a little ingenuity and in making sure everything is safe um, it did work good it ran just fine in that box that I built you just had to adjust my temperatures they're meant to set up in a shop and now we have our exhaust pipe running around to the outside and uh, you have a nice little silencer here Call it a silencer, and uh, sorry, this in the wall of the shop. I had an exhaust pipe here. So you can see some wires. I had a pipe in here before because I had a generator inside. So this uh, little exhaust pipe just goes on there, and I'll tighten that clamp up. Yeah, I got a metal plate on the wall, so there's no wood close to it, and. I can just putter away there. We'll show you the rest there inside. Just uh, 
this pipe here I, I have the end in the camper but it can go like that or you know you can put the other little vented end if you want your warm air to blow up in the air um, it's going to come off there it has a remote uh, to run it and uh, or you can turn it on here and it says it's going to start this monitor so I have it set 39 so it runs low last night in the camper night before um, today I'm hooking it up here this is the way they're meant to be uh, so if you have a look the pipe there's there's lots of clearance in here and but I still put a metal plate just because you want to make sure you have good quality if you happen to crack that pipe you know replace it get good quality pipe in there but it, it gets hot but not that hot uh, it wouldn't get as hot as I thought it would but so if you want yours the Viver I will leave a link in the description um, you know, it's just uh, yeah, it's getting getting going here the fuel pump should kick in Well, she's winding up now. We got some warm air coming. You can hear the fuel pump. So, got a five gallon or five liter tank in the top, and and uh, it'll last close to 10, 11 hours. Uh, depends on the temperature you have it set on. Still heating up and winding up. There we go, just uh, set up safely so the muffler, my uh, steel plate, make sure it's gonna vibrate and fall off the stand. And... Yeah, that's pretty simple. Pretty simple hookup. And, uh, no, they don't burn that much fuel, so if I just want a little bit of heat in here, I can keep it turned down low and and uh, run all night. I have potatoes drying in the shop here on the floor, and uh, I'll just keep it running. Uh, you can hook it up to your Bluetooth and uh, whatnot. So, if you uh, the instruction book there is laid out pretty nice. Um, there's other styles that are built smaller that are, are built for putting into um, campers, stuff like that. They're just a little little smaller in design so you can keep your fuel tank outside, uh, run separate. Um, there's quite a few different models, but uh, to check out Beaver, uh, they have uh, so many different things, tools, um, not just heaters, you know, this is... Uh, a lot of uh, different equipment and uh, you know just just check them out check them out if you're not looking for a heater they might have something you're looking for and, and it's priced pretty well so uh, we'll uh, we'll see how everything goes I'm gonna try and show you here that little bit uh, me setting up camp building that uh, I just studied it a little bit to realize that I could set my outside temperature change it so that it was not going to just keep running high i set it so it would run lower and uh run a nice temperature you know a couple nights kept the camper just toasty warm you know 70 degrees and i just had a roof vent open a tiny bit a little, little fresh air just uh so it didn't get too hot and uh so it worked great like that there's different ways to use it but this in the shop setting up shop or so it's meant flooring that you don't have to worry about it this here you see how i set it up so it's got steel underneath uh, so the exhaust pipe goes out there's a steel plate on the wall with a hole in it and uh, the pipe just fits through so um, it's quiet all you hear is a little tick so you know we're gonna hopefully this is we clean up the shop a little bit you know I got a lot of steel and stuff I've got to try and just clean it up so if we get some uh, meat on our hunting trip here then uh, we uh, will have a place to cut meat so that's where I usually get in here and Set up a couple of big tables and uh, I know uh, if you've seen previous videos my shop's kind of a disaster but 
everything gets uh, has jobs get completed I can start cleaning it up a little bit and uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video and check it out if that's something that you're interested in like I said beaver's got some good products um, and uh, yeah you'll have one for hunting season this year maybe you can have it for hunting season next year Yeah, they got a pretty good layout, uh, different styles of heaters here, and uh, do's and don'ts. Best way to, you know, check out your chambers, initial structure of it, and different models, different parts, uh, just different uh, models. And, uh, you know, they got a pretty good picture showing, you know, get your, your mufflers on and stuff like that. Make sure it's going out the right way. You can get fresh air intake, you know, or... Uh, and set it up get your fresh air intake here and it's blowing out you know setting it up in the shop and then running your exhaust out the wall of your shop they don't really come with uh, they should come with a little bit longer pipe uh, for the fresh air and the other one but they're they're not bad um, very simple setup but there there's different models for your rvs or different things so it's well, your exhaust and your intakes and your all the parts that you need, your fuel pump comes separate, all that stuff to keep your fuel tank outside. So, but they have many, you know, tools, heatle heaters, yeah, half price. So they clean half price. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, and, uh, you know, it's just, for little workshops and stuff, they're awesome. I mean, spaces, uh, I know I've seen videos of them mounted many different places, you know, on, on uh, sailboats and all kinds of things that uh, you know, people have hooked them up. As long as you make sure your exhaust is, is um, out the right way and, uh, you know, follow the safety. They have all kinds of safety, you know, make sure, biggest thing is your exhaust and that kind of thing. So just make sure that anything that's gonna get hot is uh, away from anything that's really combustible and so they're very well priced and uh so thank you to beaver for uh wanting to do a collaboration with me here and and i could share that with you guys and show you a little bit um, of the setup how it works you know it's on a remote and say just uh, push the button or there's buttons on there and you can start it that way and put your temperature higher or lower uh, it's all digital screen that you've seen. So, like I say, hope you enjoyed the video and and uh, check out the many different ways. Or you know, if you look at different reviews, different people set them up differently. Um, whether it's in sheds, shops, uh, or with a camper, like I did, just make sure nothing's hot and uh, it's all good. So, see you guys all later. <laughs>